Hello everyone, welcome to my part 9 of the Katinga build. Today I'm going to be showing the installation of the um, nav light on the engineering or secondary hull. And as you can see here, I've gone ahead and board, board out the location for the LED uh, from the inside and this is what it looks like on the underside of the hull. And I'm going to be using this um, 1.8 millimeter LED. I think it's rated at 7,000 millicandles, so it's it's not too terribly bright, but it will be noticeable. And here's the um, nav board uh, that I'm going to be installing. So let's get on to that, and I'll show you what that's going to look like. All right. Now the next thing I need to do is wire up my flasher board. Now I've already installed all the circuitry on here. And this is basically a $2 little board that I picked up on sale at, as a discontinued item at Radio Shack. And it'll flash uh, a couple of LEDs um, per circuit. It has a potentiometer on it. It's got a two-circuit system. I only need one uh, to flash the uh, LEDs. Now, uh, this particular one will flash in the, back and forth between the two potentiometers. You can't get both sides to flash at the same time. So what I've done is I'm going to wire up off of this one. I've I have jumpered the um, the connection for the other side, so this side will work. And uh, instead of being on solid, so there's no LED there. And I have um, wired this up, so I'm going to take this lead right here, just working, and wire it up to this little 1.8 millimeter uh, LED. Uh, if I can get it to focus. There we go. The one I showed earlier in the picture. And uh, it will also um, fire off the LED that I have right here. That earlier in my build I had sculpted the LED to fit in this triangular um, pyramid shaped piece uh, right in here. And it is um, sculpted so that it's uh, angular on both sides. So next thing to do is wire this up and get it working okay there I go there's the test here's the board functioning here's the LEDs uh, this one's real bright it, at least it appears real bright bright because you're seeing it from all sides um, it'll be less when we put it in the um, the LED right here is flashing the way it's supposed to this one it's placed down in here and I'll cement that in with some epoxy and that'll flash nicely down here on the under underside of the hull so I'm happy with that nice little two dollar little flasher board and uh, uh, maybe 25 cents if that and two LEDs that'll take care of that the only two um, red nav flashing lights that are on the Katinga. So now the next thing will be to do is um, glue um, epoxy this one in place and put some tool dip on the exposed leads like these right here and um, get this all set up to take and uh, mount this little board down inside the hull with uh, a little bit of um, low temp um, very cool um, low tip hot glue and it'll be uh, ready to go after that then I can go ahead and wire up to the leads the um, all the fiber optic emitters the back LED piece and run some wiring up the pipe and get it all bundled up okay I've mixed up some two-part epoxy five-minute epoxy and I placed it down in there um, around the LED here so I'm going to let that set up I'm going to hold that for a couple minutes it's already getting nice and stiff and I'm going to let that set up and that will be what I, I'll be using to hold that bottom uh, nav light flasher in place it is now all set up the epoxy is hardened and that is um, definitely down there and in place so I'm happy with that so I need to go ahead and position the board I'm going to trim up some stuff and try to get the board to fit right down into here. Um, somewhere right in this area. There's enough room for it. And um, go ahead and bring up the wiring harness 
through the brass pipe and uh, get all this stuff wired up. Well the board is installed um, down in. I just wanted to show that really quick. I use some, as I said, the um, Cool Shot low temp hot glue. Put a dab underneath down here and put the board down underneath the fiber. And I temporarily wired it to power to test everything so all the lights on the hull uh, are working. Uh, the LED strip and um, all the uh, fiber emitters are working um, on the hull so I'm happy with that and the um, nav lights are flashing so that's all working so next thing is to move on to I guess uh, cleaning this up and wiring up the um, lights for the front okay now that I've got the wiring done I decided to go ahead and remove the onion bulb off the front because the kit piece that I had wired up for the torpedo tube um, just didn't sit right on this resin uh, front, uh, I mean on the bulb, and I kept having some odd shaped gapped issues here at the front. It wasn't much, but it was enough to drive me nuts. So I decided, well, uh, you know, I'm not going to be happy with it. So let me just go ahead and take it out and, and do something different. So I tried taking a look at this clean kit piece from another Katinka kit and working it in on this piece. And it really just didn't fit very well. Um, so what I decided to do was to try to build my own piece out of 7 16 uh, styrene tubing and a 3 8 styrene tubing and that's what this piece is right here where I have two different pieces of styrene and one inserted in the other cut at the appropriate angle where I can actually insert this into this point right here and sand this down this lip down to match the front surface of the of this piece so that's what my intent is to do and that will hold in much better than this piece which just really doesn't fit very well in into the piece because when you put the other side on there's a gap and if you try to center it then you get this funky ledges going on here but it's not equal all the way around so I think this doing it this way is going to be much much better and I just need to sand this lip down right here some more and I'll be able to to glue that in and let me just for the sake of argument let me just um, Put some um, take off what I have on there. Put some hot glue on. Pop it in place just to test the fitting. Let that sit for a moment, and then get the other half. close this piece up yeah I think that's going to look much better it will require a slight bit of adjustment the resin piece does have a slight little gap but that will be no problem to um, putty up and fix and then I'll be able to have this this piece nice and flush it's just going to require some sanding down and then I think that'll be perfect I still need to sand down the whole bulb anyway um, in terms of sanding the primer to make everything smoother so I think that's going to work and will end up looking much nicer and I can install a backing on this and put my uh, red LED into this piece and I should be much happier with that look it'll be much cleaner and neater okay I went ahead and cut off the rear of my tube to shorten it up sanded that down, filed it down, and cleaned it up. And now I've got this 
pretty close to what I think will work fine and um, I've done some further test fitting on the piece and uh, it looks like it's going to fit really well just like that and um, very nice and flush with the uh, surface of the bulb so I'm going to go ahead and actually use a marker <laughs> believe it or not a sharpie to, to color around here and um, I'm going to um, paint uh, this on the inside and get this ready for uh, putting some uh, dental acrylic here at the base so I can let that harden up and drill through that uh, for my um, my LED for the torpedo effect. Okay I've got my piece done here and the next issue is, is to tape off the back fill it full of some dental acrylic probably certain way up but what I'm going to do well I really don't want the dental acrylic all the way at the base I don't think so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my diamond files that almost fit in here perfectly and I'm going to use it as to raise the back up of where I want the dental acrylic I'm going to put a little tape around here so it'll wedge in there nicely and tight and put a little release adhesive on there a lubricant on there like Vaseline or something just a little brush of a lubricant on that and I'm going to put that in place and hopefully that will uh, give me a good little platform to put my dental acrylic on really quick and let that set up. I've got my piece taped up here so it will be much tighter and I can push it on in place and get it as far out or in as I want it and um, it's going to make a nice little filler for me and I'll put the dental acrylic in there and have a place for my LED and I think I've got it a little too far a little too far in I'm going to pull it back just a little bit yeah I think that will look much nicer so I'm going to go ahead and fill that full of some dental acrylic and get that ready for hardening up let's see how that looks okay the parts done um, I went ahead and removed the end piece. It's all hardened up and I have used a sharpie to go on the inside here and to color it, blacken it all up nicely. That's my second coat. Um, really pleased with how the parts turned out using the dental acrylic and I can put some light on there so you can see it. I've got that little nice bump there that I was hoping for which I'm going to use to um, be my drill point for the LED and it's nice and solidified up and that's what the back looks like at the moment. Um, I'm going to put some black on that as well and then uh, and and with that, I have my new photon torpedo emitter, which will set nicely in right up to the edge there on this piece. And I'll just put some glue it in, put some putty around the edges, and that should work out really nice. So I'm really happy with that. Alrighty now, I've got all the wire harnesses in place. Uh, almost everything buttoned down except these two main leads right here. Um, the neck is back on and the onion bulb is on and the bridge dome is in. And uh, obviously with my sanding and other stuff I'm going to have to uh, put on some more primer. But I've got the uh, onion dome in place. I've got the torpedo in there and um, you can't really see too much here on the red I have sanded off enough where you can see through it but that LED is working these LEDs are working uh, on the front so I'm happy with all of that I've got these right here are working the half lights working I need to uh, 
pull up some footage of the motion picture and adjust this blink rate here so that um, I can get it to match uh, what the studio model was doing on the nav light. Um, and I've got the nav light underneath going. I've got all the fiber optics going around the side. Obviously I've got the uh, red lighting for the engines and the back torpedo tube in place. The um, port side fiber optics are working. So made some headway and I'm happy with that. So let me go ahead and put the top of the hull on here. Just mock it up with some clamps so you can see what that's going to look like. Okay, now that's finally starting to look a little bit more like a Katinga. Now I've just got that set on there with some clamps and uh, I'll be gluing that on, putting the top piece on, putting the piece back here. I've got to run uh, one more emitter for the fiber optics for the piece that goes, goes up here on top and um, a three strip red LED three strip uh, piece that'll go here to light up that grill, that comb that goes here in the front. But overall I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. Now this kit is pretty famous for some seam issues and, um, and those seams have always been on every one of these kits of everyone I know that's put this together have had seam issues right here on the edges. Now when I get this put down and, and these all clamped down in place with adhesive and everything most of this will go away and I'll be able to deal with just a little bit of filler there to fill that up. Um, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. Light leaks to deal with up on the young and dome as I said before but that's you know no big deal. All my masks are in place so all I have to do is spray it down with some more primer and um, I still need to adjust this flash. I think it's a little too fast, but there she is, and at least I'm making some headway. Thanks everyone for watching, and happy modeling.